Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley, Hayden Hurst, get ready because head coach Arthur Smith uses unique route concepts to get the football to you playmakers in space. Watch how he does it on these particular plays and how he uses that to be really special and create those long plays. All right, let's talk about some of the unique route concepts that Arthur Smith brings here to Atlanta and the way he creates these particular zones and really confuses the defense by formation once again by motion trying to get information and then the execution is the end part of it on this particular play here once again here's your tight end and you use the tight end a lot hayden hurst is a guy that the falcons use a lot in motion to understand where man coverage is and then use them to isolate if we good time here you got motion across so this information right now tells me that nobody went with it so when nobody goes with him that tells you it's zone coverage but then they can also switch it up here at pre-snap. And that's the one thing that Arthur Smith, I think, does really well is he has route concepts that fit man, that fit zone. Pre-snap, this says zone coverage, nobody goes with it. But on the snap of the football, you're going to see man coverage and the route concepts that come out of it. You're going to get what I call a three-level concept, which is good versus man or zone. You're going to get the shallow cross here coming across the middle. That's good versus man or zone. You can sit it down or you can keep it on the move if you got man coverage. Here's your tight end, Hayden Hurst. He's going to come up and he's going to run an out route. This is good versus man or zone. If you're playing cover two, cover four, he can sit in this void or if he's got man coverage, he can stay on the move. Something Hayden Hurst does really well in this offense and you can tell he's going to have a big impact. Then also here's your other elite receiver here. He's going to run an end cut. But what happens here is because both of these guys go vertical, both of these guys are going to come up and they're going to go vertical. They're going to confuse these deep, defensive backs here and they get confused so much that they take two guys and leave one guy wide open. So we already talked about motion is an indicator for information and tells us if it's man or zone. Now you're talking about the route concept that creates this particular play here for him. Now you see it. Both these guys going vertical. He looks like he has it, right? He's looking right at him. He's got good coverage on him. They got good man coverage on the backside. You got this shallow cross here that could win versus outside leverage running away from you. And then at the bottom, here's that indicator again I talked about, one-on-one -on, -one on the backside. Because they're so afraid of you running the football out of this formation, you get these one-on-one -on -one matchups on the outside. And this could easily be Julio Jones one-on-one -on, -one on a win route down that sideline. But he works the three receiver side. And now at the top of this, they get confused. Look at this. They get confused at the top because both guys went vertical. And now here comes if you're a big time receiver coming across here with nobody in the middle of the field. And they complete a huge pass to him over the middle. And now you convert on third down and five, which creates a huge play. So by formation, you created exactly what you wanted. And then by the route concept, you were able to get any guy you wanted open. You tied in either your receivers, and they did a good job of executing it at the end of that play. Arthur Smith does a really good job of finding ways and creating these opportunities for the tight ends. As we see, he loved the tight end. He's coached the tight ends before, so he understands how to get those guys to football. In this particular play here, he's going to use 10 personnel. And this is where Hayden Hurst can really win is 10 personnel, especially if they're playing some kind of zone coverage. But the other thing to recognize on this particular play is this is third and 11. They use tempo, they use no huddle, and they catch the Lions kind of off guard here with their tempo and their motion. I say 10 personnel because you have one tight end and the rest are all receivers. Here's your tight end right here who could be Hayden Hurst. He's on the football that tells you now he takes priority over this route. He gets into here. But first off, this is what I call the no huddle to catch him in tempo. Look how many guys are standing up and looking around. They have only one guy with his hand in the dirt. Everybody else looking to the sideline. These guys are trying to communicate. He's talking to him. You see so many guys, these guys aren't even ready. He's still walking around. This is where you can see they caught him in some kind of tempo and he uses the tight end right here to fill the void right in the middle of this field because there's really nobody to cover him because they weren't even ready. Ball is snapped, you see they're still walking around and now look. You got receivers outside. They tried to go to cover two. They got that covered. That's fine. But you got so many guys to work the inside here. And look at this. Nice play there for your tight end right over the middle. Catching the football. Nobody around them. Third and 11. An easy completion that gets you the first down. And if you don't like this, because of tempo, because of no huddle, this is what makes it so good. And Arthur Smith changing it up through a ball game. I know Falcons fans would love to see that, but he does change it up. Also, it creates other opportunities. Now, the tight end catches the football, but look who else is open. You got a little, 
You got another receiver that slipped out here. Nobody's within 15, 20 yards of him because of the tempo, because of no huddle. You still have many options. And just because it's third and long does not mean you're not going to be able to pick this up. They pick it up, huge game, and that could easily be Hayden Hurst and his Falcons offense creating that for Arthur Smith and creating the big plays down the field. I've talked a lot about route concepts and how good they are, but I love the way Arthur Smith uses these different route concepts. And I've said it so much about formation by alignment, and it matters so much. And these route concepts are good versus man and good versus zone because of the way they're created. And watch the play. You're going to have a little slight motion here. This little motion here is going to get this linebacker to fly up just enough. And on the back end here, here's the route you got here. This is 21 personnel tight end on the back side. And this is where he tries to isolate Hayden Hurst. He tries to isolate his tight end on the back side to run this out route. Now, most of the time it could be there, but if it's not there, here's what I like about what Arthur Smith does. The route concepts always come into the vision of the quarterback, which means everything is coming into his eyesight when he's trying to throw the football. And this one is all play action again. You're gonna act like you're gonna run this particular zone here, but then you get these guys flying up. But here's the route concept. You got a little small over route here, and then you have a deeper over route here, and then you have the tight end out on here. Everything, once the quarterback comes out of the play action here and turns his head around, everything is gonna be in his eyesight. Watch a little small play action here. Watch the motion. Look at the motion. Look at this guy. He's already flying up because he thinks it's going to be this little inside zone here. He flies up here. It's not. Quarterback flips his head around. Now look at this. This is Hayden Hurst on a corner. He already has leverage here to complete this. He could throw this if he wanted. But because he took a false step up, look, he's already beat coming across here. This guy's going to have an even bigger void to catch the football here. And now, boom, look at that window. One window here is open. Another window is open here. Doesn't matter if it's man or zone. This is Hayden Hurst at the top. This is easily an easy completion. He has three guys he can fit this football into, and it's all predicated off the run, mirroring the pass game. And now you complete this football and another chunk yardage play for one of your big time playmakers on the outside. Mirroring the run game, making sure they look exactly the same, but also on the back end, the route concepts, matching what you want to do and really good versus man or zone. Falcons fans, thank you for joining me. I am DJ Shockley. I am really excited as a former QB to watch what Arthur Smith does with this offense. There are a lot of things that can get done. He is very explosive in the run game, but like I said, he uses multiple ways to get this offense into the end zone. It's very effective. Looking forward to a great season with our new head coach, Arthur Smith. We'll see you guys in the fall.